Jason Allen here from Play It Software, just going to show you how to set up a very basic station for remote voice tracking. So last night I set up a new blank station called Play It 80s, where I added a lot of tracks, checked that the cue in and intro points were accurate, and added them to the system. I then created a track group for songs and a track group for idents, and I created playout policies to ensure that the same track wasn't played for two hours and that the same artist wasn't played for one hour. I then checked that my backup playout pattern, which is used to fill tracks, ensured that that was set up sensibly. I then created a clock for my voice track show. So here I added a fixed time marker at the start of the hour just to ensure that things keep sensibly to time. I then added my songs and idents track groups and my voice tracks in between. I then scheduled that clock for every hour and checked that it's scheduled OK in the playout log. To allow me to connect to remote voice tracking, I need to create a user. So I add a new one, new one, JSON, password, secret, and added that as a user. I then hit play and we were off and running. So set up the user now, I just need to enable remote voice tracking or remote access to the server. Go to file and enable remote connections. So in here you have a server port, a default selected for you. I actually have another machine on the same network running on that port, so I'll just change that to 25434. And click on start server. You get a little admin prompt. It's basically allowing the server to enable access to that port. So click on yes, and the server is off and running. Now to enable remote access to this server, i.e. external access, uh, click on the help me set up external access button and this will give you some instructions for how to set up external access. So the first thing you got to do is set up a firewall rule to allow access to port 25434 from outside your machine. So click on create rule, you'll get a little admin prompt again, to so hit yes, it'll create that rule and it will mark it in green to say yes it's working. So the next step is to um, enable port forwarding to your Play It Live machine. So you can do this by going to the router page, which is, has been worked out by Play It Live. And you can click on this link and it will open a web browser and go straight to your router. So every router is different. So you'll probably need to go to your favorite search engine, type in port forwarding on and the name of your router. So in the example here, we've got the BT Home Hub 4 and you've just got to find out how do we set up port forwarding on this. Go to Firewall. I then need to manage my applications, add a new gamer application, enter in remote voice, voice tracking, give it the port number. So the port number here is the 25434 that we entered whenever we started up the remote management server on Play It Live. So now that I've added that rule, so I can now click apply, and now I need to map that application to my computer. So I'll just go back to port forwarding, find the remote VT, and apply it to my Play It Live Windows 10 machine. So once that's done, I can go to Play It Live, click try again just to check the connections, and it should tell me that I can now access Play It Live externally. It'll give me an IP address at the bottom of this screen. Take note of this because this is what we'll be using to connect to using Play It Voice Track for remote voice tracking. We'll pick this up tomorrow for a remote voice tracking session from Play It Live using the IP and port that we've configured on Play It Live. So here we are in Play It Voice Track. I'm playing the role this time of the remote voice tracker. As you can see when we start up, we start up with a blank project, but I want to start a remote session. It's worth pointing out at this stage that remote voice trackers do not require a voice tracking module license, but the station on the other end does require one, otherwise you'll hear the overlay on top of your broadcast. So to start off with, I can go to start remote session. And to start off with, I would enter the remote server IP address and the port number. Those can be found on Play It Live on the remote connections window. 
I can enter my username, which is the user we configured uh, via manage and users on Play It Live and the password in the same place. So I'm going into that and click connect. So this will give me a list of all the available voice tracking slots that I can record into. So I can select 1 p.m. which is the next hour and hit select. So this will begin the voice tracking remote session. And to start off with, this will begin to download all the voice tracking tracks and the project to show you what I need to talk over for the next hour. So this will pull down the track information and the start and end of the track. So the start is the intro plus 10 seconds and the end is from the cue out point minus 10 seconds. So this should give you enough time to talk over the start and end of the songs. So that's it. We're ready to go. So if all I need to do is click on the record icon for my first voice track. This will bring up the segue editor, allowing me to record my voice track in the slot between the vapors and turning Japanese. So to get started, all I need to do is click record. You hear the start of the track. I'll do a bit of talking and then you'll hear the next track, which is Dusty Springfield. It's the Vapors and turning Japanese, it's Jason Owen here on Play 80s. Yes, playing all the 80s music that you can think of and that I have in my collection. Here's some Dusty Springfield now. This one is Nothing Has Been Proved. So that's my voice track recorded. And I can now do a bit of uh, tweaking of the segue. So I can uh, just trim off any start of the audio there. And actually, I just want to, to pull in... Uh, my voice into the right up to the intro of Dusty Springfield. So I can just pull this all the way across. I can hit the duck tracks there, which will pull the audio down. And let's just fade that in so we just get uh, the full thing. So I can listen to that again. Vapors and turning Japanese is just now on here on Play 80s. Yes, Play all the 80s. As you can think of, and that I have in my collection. Here's some Dusty Springfield now. This one is Nothing Has Been Proved. So that's uh, how you record the voice track into uh, the, the between the two tracks. As you can see there, I can adjust the segue to be whatever I want it to be. Once I've done that, I just need to click on uh, next voice will get me straight to the next voice track. Do I want to keep my changes? Of course. And as you can see on the right hand side here, it's told me that it's edited two segues. They start this track and this track and it's uploaded the voice track and it's gone straight into play it live um, on my studio machine. Got to record the next voice track though. This one is UB40 and going into Billy Idol. be 40 and I got you babe it's Jason on here on player TSEs right just another track now from Billy Idol this one is white wedding so I actually clashed the the top of that so I can just pull that across there this and listen is white wedding and that's all we need to do on that and we'll jump to the next voice track coming out this time of David Bowie and let's dance into culture club and Karma Chameleon. This one's true, so I might start this one straight away. The late's great David Bowie. It's Jason on here on Play at Aces. Did you see um, who was it? Adam Buxton doing the, the silly dance to uh, David Bowie's Let's Dance. Check that one out on YouTube. Right, here's some Karma Chameleon. And everybody knows this one. It's, well, it's Karma Chameleon by Culture Club. Oh, I messed that up. Let's do that again. And we'll hit record. It's a late, great David Bowie. It's Jason Owen here on Player Tasty. It's Karma Chameleon. So I want to pull that in so it goes to the. Uh, it's Karma Chameleon. It's Karma Chameleon. 
Okay, perfect. And uh, let's just trim the star off that to make sure that there's no other additional noise. And clicking for the next voice track. Let's do one more. This one is Blondie and into Tarzan Boy. Baltimore and I. This one's Tarzan Boy. So that's basically how we're doing remote voice tracking. As you can see on the right hand side here, we're just been uploading voice tracks and updating segues. If I hit save on this, all these changes are getting applied. And as you can see, my voice tracks are appearing into my session. So one thing that's worth pointing out here is if I, obviously I've done some of the, the recording and I'm up to, um, up to Baltimore and I've recorded the, uh, the voice track for that. In here, I've got uh, Erasure and a little respect. And well, I do like Erasure, but pretend that I don't like Erasure. I can go down through any of these tracks. I can find, say, Genesis and Invisible Touch. I can drag this across and then drop out Erasure. And it's already replaced Baltimore with, it's already replaced Erasure with Genesis. And I can record the voice track um, after the end of Genesis and into Buggles. Video killed the radio star. And that's all we got to do. Hit save and we've inserted that track from the track list find on the server. And that's all you got to do to do remote voice tracking. So the only thing you've really got to set up on the server side is opening the correct ports to allow access to the machine. Everything else, remote voice tracker has to do very little in terms of setup. They have to enter the correct details given by their station manager or whoever's setting up the Play It Live server. Let's jump back to Play It Live now to see those voice tracks in action on Play It Live. So here we are in the one o'clock hour, the hour that we recorded the remote voice tracks for. Playing right now is UB40 and I got you babe. And under this track we had a voice track that we recorded from the other computer. So at the end of this, we'll hear that voice track and hear that, that sounds with the segue. Alright, 20 seconds to go and UB40 and I got you babe and then we'll go straight into the voice track recorded remotely but played in Play It Live. UB40 and I got you babe it's Jason on here on Player TSEs. Right, it's just another track now from Billy Idol. This one is White Wedding. So exactly as we recorded it within a Player voice track, editing the segues, all the segues are lined up within Play It Live. So there's an example of a remote voice tracking in Play It Live and Play It Voice Track. You can download both of these from playitsoftware.com forward slash live and playitsoftware.com forward slash voice track. I've been Jason Allen from Play It Software.